Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first video, so you guys are going to have to bear with me because I don't know what I'm doing. But my name is Shanine, S-H-A-N-Y-G-N-E. And some of you may know me from my online blog, Too Much Mouth. Um, I'm still going to post on there, but I just wanted to make the switch over to YouTube because I feel like you guys can kind of see my personality a little bit more. And you'll definitely be able to pick up on my shade and sarcasm a whole lot more than just reading my blog posts. So for my first video, I was like, since I'm a shopaholic and I've been to the mall at least like four or five times this month. Yeah, this month. Um, I should do a collective haul for my first video and show you all what I've got. So stay tuned. So I guess I'll start with the things that I got from Sephora. Um, I bought the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. And I actually originally only went there for the mask, but when I got there, she was like, it's sold out. So all we have is this um, a duo package that comes with the daily cleanser. And I was like, hey, for $70, if you can give me anything that's like free along with it, then drop it in the bag. So this is what it looks like, and it just has the daily cleanser and the mask. And I will probably do a separate video on this, like just like the effects that my skin has had since I started using it. Because um, I've had some good and some bad effects since I started using it, but um, for the most part, um, I would suggest if you're going to put out the money for $70 on one of the masks, that it be that mask, the Super Mud. And um, while I was there, I also got the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. I'm sure you've heard this like, like or seen this all over YouTube. And um, believe the hype. Like, believe the hype that everyone is giving this thing because I was using the NARS Translucent Powder but I'm probably not going to go back to using the NARS Translucent Powder because Laura Mercier did her thing when she came up with this. And another thing that I got with the Translucent Powder is a Kabuki brush to apply it. They kind of like suckered me in to buying this one, but I'm kind of glad they did because it's made uh, setting my face a whole lot easier. And it is this, and it is number 4Z6. And the last thing I got from Sephora was the Tarte Tardius Clay Paint Liner. And this is the packaging. And it comes with the actual liner and a brush. This is what the actual liner looks like. And this is the brush that it comes with. And I have a love-hate relationship when it comes to the brush. Some days I like it, some days I don't. But that's just Tarte in general. Like, I usually don't like Tarte products. Like, I've tried their primer and I've tried their powder. And I didn't like both of them, but I do like this liner. Um, it's very, it's a rich, thick black. And, like, those are the liners that I go for. So, after that, I went to Macy's, and you know Macy's has like little beauty departments like in Macy's, so it's got MAC and it's got Estee Lauder. So I was on the internet searching like high and low for a store that actually like carried the Estee Lauder double stay foundation. And I finally found one, so I went to it, and just looking from the swatches online, I was like, I think I want to go with Rich Cocoa, but let me do like a little like color testing while I'm there. So the girl behind the counter, I was like, can you bring Rich Cocoa and whatever shade is like right after Rich Cocoa? Because that the actual like line has like 30 shades. Yay. So she comes back with Rich Cocoa and Tool. So I swatch Rich Cocoa here and I swatch Tool over here. And I was with my dad and yeah, your dad is not the best person to go like makeup shopping with. So I asked her, which one do you think I should get? And she was like, you should definitely go with Tool. Like, she was at me, like, go with Tool. So I'm holding the mirror that she that she gave me after I swatched them. And she goes behind the register and she starts the transaction. And she's asking, like, what's your name? What's your last name? What's your address? Whatever. So I'm standing there. And the longer I look 
the more the foundation is setting, and I'm just like, oh no, tool, tool is not my shade. So I'm standing there and I'm asking, like, are you sure I should go with tool? Like, you don't think I should go with rich cocoa? And she's not answering my question. And this is when, you know, like the slit mouth that I have made its presence. So she said something like, what's your phone number? And I was like, 1-800, which shade should I get? So she pops her head up and looks at me and she's like, what? And I was like, which shade should I get? Like, are you sure I should go with tool? So she, you know, move your face again. So I move my face. And she was like, you know what? You should go with, you should go with Rich Coco. And I'm just looking at her like, girl, come on. Like, we're in this together. Like, everyone's goal is that girls are not walking down the street with two different shades from their face to their neck or their arms. Like, help me. Help me. So I did end up going with um, Rich Coco. And this, this is what it looks like. And I hate the fact that it does not have a pump. Like, all of the foundations that I've tried before this have pumps. And that's always a bonus. Because the amount of product that you waste when it doesn't have a pump is ridiculous for the amount that you end up paying for these things. So I'm most likely going to order, like, um, one of those, like, tubes that have pumps, like, off Amazon. I think you can get them for, like, $6. Um, I'll link that down below for anyone who's interested in those. Um, because I know I'm interested in those. So after I went to Estee Lauder, I went over to MAC, and I just picked up like a little few things from there. And the first would be the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And I kind of wanted the ones that had like a different scents, like coconut and whatever, but like I guess those were limited. So I got the original one, but that's fine because it smells like flowers and it smells so good when you spray it in your face. But I only got the travel size because I already had the Smashbox primer water and I didn't want to pay like the 20 or $30 that this uh, full size is when I have one that kind of does the same thing that I paid full price for. And of course it was after I paid full price that they came out for like the mini travel size for $16. But that's just my luck and my life, which you guys will learn from my videos that life hates me. But um, after that, I got the MAC Lip Pencil in Chestnut. And literally, like, this is just the perfect shade of brown. Like, let's see here, a quick little swatch. Like, come on. That is beautiful, at least for, like, my skin tone. Like, other skin tones, it'll probably give you a much darker lip. But um, for... Girls with my skin tone are like darker. It'll definitely help if like, you know how sometimes you have those lips, like one lip is darker than the other one. It'll kind of help balance it all out before you apply whatever lipstick or lip gloss you're gonna put on top. And um, I got, I finally, finally, like finally got the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I am in the shade NW45 and if I had to say like a little quick first impression on this, I would probably say that I don't like how thick it is. Um, it's like borderline the same as the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but it's a lot, um, it's a lot thicker. Uh, so it's not, I'm not like saying I don't like it, I just don't like that one aspect of it. Um, this is definitely something I would wear when I want like a more, like a, a full face look. This is not something I would wear like every day, like I'm just going to school or, you know, I'm going out with my friends. It's just too thick for me to do that. And that was everything from Macy's. I did some online shopping and I finally jumped on like the bandwagon of ColourPop. And I ordered four shades, but I only got two in the mail. And I think the other two are going to come today. I believe so. And the two that I got in the mail are Tool and Limbo, and they are what I have on my mouth together today, and the chestnut. So I line my lips with chestnut, and then I put on Limbo, and then I put Tool on top of that, and that's how I got this lip combination today. And these are what it looks like outside of the packaging, and might I say like ColourPop packaging is really cute, just the packaging itself. 
and these are the two shades that I got. The two shades that I'm waiting for are Chilly Chilly and Guess. And when they finally come in the mail, I'll probably do like a um, lip swatch video to show you guys what it would look like on um, someone of my skin tone or just show you what they look like in general. And then there are the little, you know, like the little things you buy when you're waiting online that you really shouldn't buy. And I think I was in TJ Maxx when I bought this. Kohl's. I was in Kohl's when I bought this. And I saw it while I was online waiting to buy the other stuff that I went there to buy. And that is the Essie Gel Setter. And I was like, oh, it's like a top coat, but it'll give you like that gel look when you go to the salon. And I was like, let me just do that because it gets really tiring going to the salon to get a manicure like every two weeks. So I was like, I already have nail polish at home. Let me buy this and see the outcome. And I'm definitely going to be doing my nails myself a lot more often. So look cute and save money. Win win. And the last, last thing I have to show you guys is this Pantene Anti-Humidity Hairspray. And this was actually a gift from my friend who went to Michigan. And she came back and she was like, I have a gift for you because anyone who knows me knows, like, especially during the summer when it's humid, like, I'm like a young Tina, Tina Turner when it comes to my hair. Like, it's ridiculous when it comes to humidity. So she bought me this. And I've used it a couple times since she gave it to me. And, uh, I mean, it helps to an extent. But, like, if it's really humid out, like, even this isn't going to help you. It won't. But, like, if it's, like, mild, it'll do wonders. So, pick your poison when it comes to that. And, yeah, that's pretty much the end of my haul. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'll probably be at the mall like this weekend. So there'll be a whole lot more hauls to come because like I said, like I have a problem. So let me know if there's anything that you guys want to see like more in depth of a video on. I already said I'm going to do a video on the Glam Glow Mask, the Estee Lauder Foundation, and the Color Pops. But if there's anything else you guys want to know about, um, ask a question. Ask for a video down below and I'll be sure to get that up. All right? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.